What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. First of all, you guys do me a favor. Those of you that haven't already, check out Food and Fallons. Uh, it's a channel, a friend of mine's channel. He does food reviews. Uh, he's about to start traveling all over the United States, putting out new content. He just put out a video with Little EZ. Check him out, support the channel. That said, another day, another dollar when it comes to Danny Masterson. And we are still trying to figure out, I know those of you, uh, there's some that are saying it's getting worn out, and there's others that are saying they need it every day. The assassin has been thwarted. That's what we're hearing today. That's what we're hearing yesterday. Shout out to J.D. Delay. J.D. Delay's got the plug. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to tell you this. Check out J.D. Delay if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. The guy's got over half a million subscribers and he's done it very fast. Very successful over there. He put out a video. I guess he did a live last night. I was on live, so I didn't see it. I got told about it. Damn, what the hell is that? I got told about it. And this is what I was told. Go check out Je this guy's video. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. The arrogance of people from California, right? When it comes to our system, we're so fucking arrogant. Eh? So I go over there and I check out some of it. And he's saying he got information that, that Danny Masterson had been transferred on a weekend to CMC East, or he just said CMC, California Men's Colony said, which over here we just call it CMC, right? And he's saying he went to a level two, I think he said, and I'm like, bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that one, right? You don't get a special transfer on the weekend. You don't get, damn sure don't get an override that's two levels. You can get an override that's one level, but not two, right? So I fucking recorded a video this morning with all respect towards J.D. DeLay, and I was talking about, you know, we need to be uh, sure that what we put out is accurate or as accurate as we can be. If we still don't know, we put a disclaimer, and then I get a phone call. Right after I finish recording, I get a, call, a phone call. He was transferred. Shout out to J.D. DeLay. He has the plug. My plug was slower than his. And I'm from California. So he's doing good work over there. But, but there's always an asterisk on everything, right? I still am curious about something, okay? If he went to CMC, <clears throat> he went to the level three. I, I'm going to say that off the top. They're not going to put that guy in a dorm. If they're worried about his safety, regardless of how soft that dorm is, he's still going to he would get socked up in a dorm like that. Right. He's going to bring his his smelly, stinky ass, greasy beard and his stupid haircut. And somebody's going to be like, get the fuck out of here. But. CMC East is cell living from my understanding that was the prison that was notorious or well-known within the system. They had a tennis court. or a, Matter of fact, is that the one? I think they have a tennis court and a, and a fucking uh, putting green. I think they have over there. They got some old bougie-ass shit over there nobody else has in the state. I know that. I just don't remember which one it is. But they also have keys to their own cell doors. What? Yep. They have keys to their own cells. When I heard this, I was like, okay, I heard this this morning, and I immediately start processing things, right? Why? On a Saturday or a Sunday. If it was Friday, then okay. I don't know what day he got transferred. But on a Saturday, I, I just, it, it would have to, okay, if they're sticking to, and, and J.D. Delay, you got the plug, homie, you, you, you let me know, you let us know. Was he transferred on Friday or Saturday? And it, 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 it matters in a way. And I'm going to tell you why. Transportation on a Friday is possible, right? The ride from Corcoran 
to CMC is not that far of a drive. If if transportation isn't doing what they normally do, turning a fucking three hour ride into a 12 hour ride, which they do to get their money, they can shoot straight across, basically straight across and be there in three hours on a Friday. Doable. If they're saying it was on a Saturday. What's the reasoning? Two things pop up. One would be that a confidential informant, a reliable source, as they call it in the CDC, gave them information that if he came out, if he brought his stanking ass beard out, that he was going to get harmed. That's one scenario. The other scenario is that he got socked up in his cell, on the tier, in the day room, the chow, whatever it was, because the, the, the sticking, getting whacked, getting blasted, whatever you want to call it, we have different terms out here in California. If that would have happened, he would have went to the outside hospital and then been transferred. So because he didn't go to an outside hospital, we can, we can take, he got whacked off, off the table. Now, the other two scenarios, in those scenarios, he could have just been housed in ADSEG and then the administration has to figure out what they want to do with them and then has to be cleared through Sacramento. I don't know that this happened if he already went to classification unless at his classification hearing they put him up for transfer there, but he had just been endorsed and cleared for yard. So I'm leaning more towards, and we're going to find out, it'll come out, but I'm just going to go ahead and indulge the conspiracies. Let's indulge it. And it it may just be my own fucking conspiracy, and I'm just dragging you guys in with me. Back to the PHU, Protective Housing Unit. Let's talk about that for a second. My understanding, and I've spoken about it in other videos, when someone is placed in the PHU, nobody knows about it. The COs don't know. Nobody knows. It feels to me like there's a very good possibility that if he was moved on a Saturday, he was moved into the PHU. The cover story is he was moved to CMC. And it's just their way of protecting their ass and doing whatever they do. I've never known, like, I don't know anybody that went to PHU. But my understanding is that they do it very covertly. They don't want anybody knowing who's there. Why? I don't know. You're still inside a maximum security prison. Nobody's coming in to get them, right? But has had he has if he has been moved to CMC East, that 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 right there, that joint in California has been known forever to be one of the softest places to do time, probably in America. There's a, there's a few prisons in California that are known like soft as cotton. And CMC is usually number one on that list. Um, there's a couple other that, others that pop up. But usually CMC is like, so if he's there and he's in his own cell, you know, he may be safe. It just depends on who's around him. It just depends on his fucking stanking ass beard and his, he how disheveled. Somebody said, oh, he said it again. I'm saying it again. Oh, disheveled ass Danny Masterson. One thing I do know is that wherever he's at, I'm sure he's pacing his cell. He's got anxiety. He's wondering what's, what's going to happen next. What's going down? And I'm glad. I'm glad he's uneasy. I don't ever talk about I wish violence on anybody, but that internal conflict that he's having within his mind, he deserves it. You know, I learned a saying a long time ago, the only thing you, you deserve in life is that what you earned, and he earned that. By being in a position that he was in and doing the things that he did to women. You earned that anxiety. You earned that panic. 
You deserve that stinky, greasy, disgusting beard and that stupid ass haircut. You deserve the cell you're in. Targeting women, children, and the elderly is not applauded. It's not overlooked in the California prison system or in the criminal world. I don't know where he is, but like I said, I hope he's uncomfortable. Um, I'm still, until somebody goes to visit him in CMC, I'm going to go ahead and stick to my conspiracy that he's in the PHU and this was a smoke screen. With that said, I hope everybody has had a great weekend so far. Sunday is that relaxation day for those that don't work Sundays. Take your girl out to, to breakfast, your husband, your kids, whatever. Go to the beach. Enjoy the beauty of your surroundings. Please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.